Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Breakthrough Series. As children of God, we are meant to break through in every area of our lives. So this is why I would like to talk about depression. Because for you to break through, you have to be in your right state of mind. So I would like to talk about depression like I said earlier. So what is depression? Simply put, depression is a mental state of low mood and aversion to activities. Depression can also be described as a persistent sadness or lack of interest or player in previously enjoyable and rewarding activities. Depression is a mental and behavioral disorder and it is very common in the society today. Now, what are the causes of depression? A lot of things trigger depression in someone. One of the triggers of depression is abuse. We have different forms of abuse. We have physical abuse, emotional abuse, then we have sexual abuse. So anyone who is exposed to any of these forms of abuse can, is vulnerable to depression. The another cause of depression is age. The elderly, as a result of the pains they could go through on a regular basis, and some of them experience loneliness, they are vulnerable to depression. Then another trigger of depression is intake of alcohol and drugs. Another one is loneliness. If someone is lonely and it's persistent, it can trigger depression. Then another cause of depression is breaking relationship or divorce. One of the partner, as a, as a result of breaking relationship, can go into depression. Another cause of uh, depression is what we call postpartum depression. This usually happens to women who, after giving birth, who um, experience, because of the hormonal uh, changes that they go through or that they experience, they can be de depressed. Then another cause of depression is death of a loved one or bereavement. That can also cause depression or make someone to go into depression in life. Signs and symptoms of depression are one, an unusual sadness. That is when you are always sad on a regular basis. You need to check out for depression. Then another sign of depression is feeling worthless. Then feeling guilty. When in actual sense, you are not guilty of what you think you are guilty of. Then another sign of depression is tiredness or loss of energy. Another one is poor concentration or inability to make decision on time when you are finding it difficult to make decision concerning a particular thing in your life. So another sign of depression is pains and aches all over your body. When you have limb pains, chronic joint pains, it's a sign of depression. Then another form of a, a sign of depression is when you are finding it difficult to sleep or you sleep too often, it's a sign of depression. Then another one is when you are eating too much or you are finding it difficult to eat, it, it is a sign of depression. If you are a victim of depression, or you know someone around you that has been depressed, there is no problem about, about it at all. There is no issue. That can be taken care of. Number one, you need to regularly engage in physical exercises, like walking, jogging, then dancing to the music that you love dancing to on a daily basis. Another thing you can do to help yourself is to make sure 
you do what you love to do on a daily basis or regularly. Then another way by which you can help yourself is to spend time with those that can help you or support you. Another way is by making sure you take plenty fibers on a daily basis. By fiber, I mean you make sure you take food like nuts, like fruits and vegetables. Make sure you take food like beans and other food that contains fiber on a regular basis. So another way through which you can help yourself is to find time to relax. When you are at work, make sure you don't sit in a position for a long period of time. You can stand up, walk around. Sometimes you can stand and take a slow but deep breath, just a way of regaining your strength. Then sometimes you can bathe with warm water, most especially when you are feeling pains or you are having aches in any part of your body. Then another way through which you can help yourself is to make sure you sleep well. Sleep well. Then another way by which you can help yourself as a Christian is to study the word of God at all times. Make sure you make the word of God your friend. Make it an habit to study the word of God at all times. Another way through which you can help yourself is to consult a mental health counselor. Consult a mental health professional like psychologists, social workers, and share your problem with them. There's this saying that a problem shared is absorbed. So don't try to solve your problem all alone by yourself. Then, I also like to mention that you should have faith in God. Be hopeful. Have faith in Him. Don't be anxious. Make sure you pray against any agitation, against any worry that you are going through or you are experiencing. The Bible says in the book of Philippians, chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, that you should be anxious for nothing, but in prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, that you should make your request known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your mind and your heart through Christ Jesus. Thank you so very much for listening. See you some other time. Bye for now.